What? I forget. I have an appointment I had. Um, Other than the DMV one you skipped? Yeah. I didn't skip. Well, I, I mean, no, you you were there, but you skipped it because there were too many people there. Because you wouldn't have made the podcast. No. Yes. I'm, it's not a bad thing. No, that, but, but that's what happened. So you, you skipped it because you couldn't attend it. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Because okay. you didn't cancel it because you checked in, right? Here's how it went down. You ready? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. Yeah, we'll talk about this. We can, hey, we can, man. Hey, what's up, man? Here's what happened. For well, those of you who don't know, yeah, guys, yeah. I texted Jacob. I said, hey, I'm at the DMV. And um, I may be a little late to the podcast, but I'll text you at 1 30. And so here's what happened. Yesterday, I had a 10 a.m. Because I need to, I sold my California ID and it's expiring and I need to get it. Right. All right. I had a 10 a.m. appointment. I got my passport, my birth certificate, social security card, which I fished out of fucking. I don't know where mine is. It's it. We have it. You guys have it? We have your birth certificate, your social security card. Yeah, we got we, we got it. Well, I think I had a copy of it, though, when I was around 18 or 19. Do you want us to keep it? I would like a copy of it. Are you sure? I don't, I, what a copy? You don't... I don't know. Copy. People, some people, sometimes I got to bring some, like a social security card to like the fucking DMV or some shit. Yeah, so. but you can't use copies. Oh. You have to use the real deal. Boo. Do you want the real deal? No, 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 no. You guys can keep it. Okay, that's what... <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't, I don't want it. No, I mean, I'm not saying that I want it. I just am saying I'm I lost. A hundred percent with you. Yeah, yeah. So I get. I don't, I, I don't fucking trust myself. I have the 10 a.m. <gasps> right, and I get there 9:55, ready to walk in. But do you know what I forgot? Oh, my driver's license. I didn't bring my wallet with me. I had everything else. I was so organized. I left it by the door the night before. But did you go back and get it and come back? I was like, hey, can I go out again and come back? And they were like, no. And I said, why? And they were like, how far do you live? I said, 20 minutes. They said, so you're coming back at 1040. You don't have a 1040 appointment. You have a 10 o'clock appointment. Great job. So I was like, oh, okay. There's only one day a week that the DMV takes walk-ins? Oh, yes, it's Wednesday. So I was like, well, how about could it be? What time did you go? Why did, why did you just go early in the morning? I did. They gave me a ticket that said, come back at 1 p.m. Uh, that's how many people were already there. That's crazy because the two experiences I've had with the DMV an hour after it's opened have been pleasant. Okay, so I'm going. I'm going next week early, early. So I go back today, right at one o'clock, and I hand in my ticket because I think that's my appointment. So I, I was G five forty eight. Okay, and I sit down, and right after I called you, they call G three forty two, and I was like. Uh, well, you know, two? It, you, know it, you know, it doesn't go in that order. It just bounces back and forth. Not doesn't the it? G's. The G's go, the C's go, the K's uh, go. There were 200 other G's. Can you even fit 200 people Dude, in that, that place? parking lot. When I pulled in, I was like, is there, a is there a concert here? Well, but 200 people for one letter though, seems fucking nuts. Easily. Well, maybe that was the walk-in list. That it was all walk-in Wednesday's walk-in. Only walk-ins walk, Wednesday? Walk-in walk Wednesday. Walk-in Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And I wish it was walk-in Wednesday where everybody just did kiss Chris walk into impersonations. No. Oh. Uh, I'm here for my appointment. That was a my walk-in. <laughs> not, not terrible, Let me hear yours. honestly. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Because neither one of us can do walk-in. No, who does a really good walk-in that we do? Everybody that does an impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who does impersonations probably starts with walk-in. But yeah. you and I can't do it. So let's think of something to say. Well, I, uh, I like the DMV. What, okay. what, what did you what just gonna, say? Here's what we're going to say at the for the DMV. I had my appointment at the DMV today. You want me to go first? No, I'll go first. Okay. Um, okay. Do we need to hear a, a walk-in clip? Is that something we should hear real quick? Just to get his cadence? Or do you want to go... No, I, I, think we go, I think we go free into it. And then listen to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, we, and then we can determine who whose was better. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we have somebody was, here. Yeah. Who's a bit of Matt is a bit of a movie guy. So you you'll be. By able the way, to, it's possible for both of us to lose as well. I know don't that, think so. There's no, one no, winner. Know that that is a possibility. So don't yeah don't feel the need to pick a winner. Matt, and by the way, Matt's our producer. Matt, here's what I would say: there may be two losers, but there's also going to be one winner. But, Dude, do do you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, so you yeah, got to yeah. pick a winner. Obviously, both losers. What's the sentence again? I don't remember. I have an appointment today at the DMV. Oh, wait, oh, you went by the Starbucks? Yeah, uh, this uh, this morning. Uh, by the way, dude, I got to tell you what happened to me at the gym. Another, uh, another blowout? 
Oh my god, actually? Oh my god. All right, we have to postpone the Chris Walken. Uh, no, no, uh, let's do Chris uh, Walken uh, first. Okay, just put up write that down, okay? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'll write it down. Uh, yeah, Dad yeah. almost shit himself again. That's unfortunate that you have to write that down. I could have said it in my head too, but I decided not to. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, to make sure everybody, you always tell me to make sure I'm talking and not no dead space. So I want people who are watching to be able to hear what's happening. By the way, (laughs) a lot of opinions on our mini cow conversation. Everybody says get a mini cow, but did you? But also, some they don't turn out mini. No. If you get mini, there are some mini cows who have like growth defects, and they stay, they stay more miniature than a regular cow. But they're, yes, they, but they they're like still four hundred pounds, dude. Yeah, that's a big fucking. That's, that's not a, four, a mini. It's anything. a four hundred pound dog. What do you want? That's not a mini. There's no mini poops coming out of a four hundred pound animal. I, we we didn't expect there. It's a. I'm not expecting it to be a mini cow like it's the size of a fucking chihuahua. That would well, be sad. Well, yeah, but if it stayed mini like that and it just had like regular... But you put it like this, like it's supposed to be a medium-sized dog. A mini-sized cow... A mini cow is still like as big as a large dog. 400 pounds, dude, is way bigger than a dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. that's a 400-pound dog. It'll be fun. I, I'm not I'm not poo-pooing the mini cow. I'm still on board for it. You're poo-pooing the idea of the large poo-poos that will come out of said animal. I'm just saying it's not as small as I thought it was going to be, but well, I'm still on board for it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was I was still aware that I I, I want a cow. Mini cow. Here we Teacup go. cow. Whatever I, they are. Ca- cow with dwarfism. Those ones are cool too. Those ones are super cute. Okay. Let's do our walk-in. So, wait, so what, I, what, had, I had an appointment at the DMV today. You sure you don't want to hear what he sounds like? Yeah, I kind of do because I know I I know what he sounds like, but also like it might be nice. Do you want me to just pull him up real quick? Yeah, I mean, we need to get a keyboard where we can just pull things up. I think is what we need to do. But if we get just Christopher Walken audio, right? Yeah, is that how we do it? Sure. And then and by the way, I know everybody listening. I know you know who the winner is going to be of this. It's not going to be me. It's clearly... What is this photo of him right now? Let me see. That is amazing. <laughs> what is when, this? That can't be recent. When is that? What? February 8th, 2021. It yeah, was like dude, right after that, COVID. His mustache. Why does he look better post-COVID than he did pre? Well, yeah, why, he looks He looks like he actually came out of the pandemic a few years younger. Yeah, amazing, dude. How and does that work out? Why is that mustache so fucking because magnificent? Here's, a, here's another picture of him. Magnificent. magnificent, you high ass. Yeah, because this is him. I assume at, before. I think he needs to go mustache all the time. Well, yeah. What is show on. the show the mustache picture? What does he look like right now? Show the mustache picture. Show, show. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Will you hold show the mu- show the mustache? Show it. Will you hold? Should we show the mustache picture? I'm gonna kick you under this table. <laughs> Yo, look he at looks, he looks good, dude. That's the first time I've ever seen. A a picture of Chris walking in the last twenty years, where I'm like that dude gets some ass. He for sure, he's on a boat somewhere in his hey, Tommy hey, Bahamas. He's he's like almost with that. He's got that weird like Jeff Goldblum level, like with that stash. Just like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you like, know what else he has that I that I hate to bring me into it. No, that, relax. that I have <laughs> is that he's gray everywhere except his mustache. That's true. Like guys, if I went no oh. If I went no... He does not look good right now. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. What happened? Does he have the mustache? He looks like Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, no. What happened? He needs to grow the mustache back. Yeah, can, and go back to his fucking Botox person because... Can I see? Oh. Yeah, thanks. Hold on. Let me... What a bummer. Well, you know what, though? He's also how old? Not as old as that picture. He's old. I bet you he's 64. What do you think about that? I'm going 69. What do you think about that? How old is Chris Walken? 64. Let's get to the competition. Oh, okay. You are, we, you and I are so far off. When you see this, when you see this, it's going to be fucking ridiculous. Is he 80? Yeah. No. 80 years old. Oh, he looks great. Yeah, he looks better with that slick back hair. He looks great. He he was 78 with that. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't he keep it? Like, that is crazy. To me, uh, 80. I, it's like when people saw Jack Nicholson in a Lakers game and they're like, he looks old. I'm like, that dude. Yeah, he's fucking 80 years old. And he has Coke in his nose older than you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? 
Like he has rocks stored somewhere up in a cavity in his nose. He's that got are from money. Seventy. He's got money in a safe somewhere that were the first bills printed in the fucking U.S. Dude, like it's he's ridiculous. got a quaalude in the fold of his foreskin. That's Oof. how old he is. I'm a, I'm a, that that joke didn't land as well nah. As the, the visual the visual was too much for me to really want to. Which of the quaalude or the foreskin? Both, I guess. I guess All more right. the positioning of the quaalude. Okay, go. In the foreskin. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. <laughs> He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. He's so big. Okay, okay, He's okay. He's so big. He's so big. That's right. fucking... I had an appointment at the DMV today. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, that's, that's an older walk-in. He's a little more gravelly. Yeah. So are we doing that walk-in or any walk? I think, honestly, I think it's your interpretation of okay, walk-in. Okay, I, okay. I think that's the point. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. So I, I had an appointment today at the DMV. Okay. That's mine. Okay, ready? I had an appointment <laughs> at the DMV. No, that's not <laughs> <laughs> You sound like, like you sound, scooby yeah. <laughs> You sound like that crazy yeah, guy from The Simpsons. Dude, What's his name? I had Sideshow Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it in my head <laughs> that I was going to go up on appointment, and it just came it just out as like a voice crack. crack. It just yeah. sounded like a voice crack. <laughs> Zoinks! Like, yeah, I had like an appointment Zoinks, even. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I Yo, had a job. I had a didn't do. I had an appointment speak, even. So speaking of Scooby-Doo, by the way, I think I won that. Um, Matt, who won that? Jacob? <sighs> Ding, 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 ding. What's that? No, I think that's the first accent challenge I've ever won. That's why that was my celebration. Dude, dude. I don't know that <laughs> I've. Yeah. Yeah. See, I knew that was. I don't know happen. that I've ever won an accent challenge. Have I? Usually I don't do them. So you win by default. Yeah. But from now on, you're doing them. Well, yeah. I just won my first one. So I got to keep the streak going. <sighs> or I could retire one for one and oh. The champ. <sighs> uh, so speaking of Scooby Doo, this is going to be a completely off topic note. That I don't even have written down. That's just how our brains work. Um, I was I'm really into the show called FBI right now. Uh -huh. um, it's like an NCIS or a CSI, but it's FBI cases instead. I gotta say though, a, every other one is either a bombing or a kidnapping, and I'm like, all right, I, I get I get the point. You guys are the FBI, but yeah. like, let's fucking switch it up a notch. Um, but also, then again, every episode of all of those shows are the exact same. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's okay. My grandma always made this. Oh, joke. This isn't a trash can. This has chips in it. Okay, I want to throw my. Did you, just throw your did you just throw a tissue in there? I think I did last week. That's gross. Oh, yeah, I, my bad. Yeah, but like Grandma always says, like if you miss an episode of CSI, it's okay because all the episodes are exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really into the show FBI right now, and all of a sudden I'm watching an episode, and the dude who plays Shaggy in the life, the, like the real, the live action Scooby Doo, mm -hmm. is the killer in one of these episodes. Yeah. And he pops up and he's somebody called who's called an, a family annihilator. Yeah. Who like there's like four different types of them, but they they, you know, obviously they kill their families for some sort of different reason, whether they're, you know, they're doubting themselves or they're doubting them or they're paranoid, all that kind of stuff, right? And when we when I saw Shaggy on screen and everything that was happening and, and it cut to black and it was like Matthew that, Lillard, by the way. Is that is that his name? Yeah. Matthew Lillard. Sorry for calling him Shaggy. That's, okay. that's just that's okay. That's how I referenced him. He was also in the original scream. Also true. Yep. He, he has discography is really good. And I think he's a great actor. I agree. Yeah, I agree. That's why I was, I was shocked to see him in something like this, uh, playing this character, which he was really good in it. So I, I enjoyed it. But like right when it cut to black and it was FBI and I knew that he was the killer, I was like, like, Zoink Scoop, I just killed my family. And he just cut into do. By the way, remind me never to do a Shaggy impersonation with you. That I would lose that one oh, for yeah, sure. Oh, you'll, yeah, you'll lose a Scooby-Doo and a Shaggy impersonation for sure. Matthew Lillard, amazing. Yeah. And, and by the way, could not have found a better uh, Shaggy. Oh, he, so good, so good. Let, let me go back and explain what happened to the DMV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, sorry, that was a digression that I, I had love, to share because it made me laugh. I and love I, it. And by the way, Matthew Lillard, it's interesting, and having worked on episodic shows and shit in the writer's room, when you say you're surprised to see him on a show like that. Or just like playing that role, because I, I don't think like for me, I've ever seen him in a legit like serial killer, murderer role, went on a Scream. killing spree. Oh, was he one of the killers in yeah. Scream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go back and watch all those because the did you see the most recent one that came out? Yep. Really? Loved it. I really liked it yeah, actually. Yeah, and I also really for people it. who hadn't seen it, it gave you a really good rundown of kind of like yeah. the 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 lore to it. So, so I really good. enjoyed it. But it made me want to rewatch all of them for sure. He he, he um it, it, it's interesting, you know, when that. you go and you're on these shows, right? And you're writing, and there's they try to get guest stars on all the shows, right? Right. It, like a and like um, it brings more eyes and attention and fans. It used to. It doesn't as much anymore mean anything, but um I, and I forget the word that we used in the in the writer's room to, to the name we gave these stars who came in and did guest star spot, right? Oh, they had like uh, a code word? Yeah, I forget what it was. But it was interesting because you would get a list of people and you'd be like, and basically it was who's ready to do this? Who's right. ready? Who who's at a point in their career? Where they're ready to guest star on something, as opposed to, do you know what I mean? Yeah, as opposed to being the main, the main person. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it was always interesting, and we always got some really cool people to come in. I remember Serena Williams guest starred on. Whoa, oh, oh dude, this this Serena Williams. This this was like two thousand three Serena Williams. But yeah, still already. Oh, dude, legendary dude, legend. But also, uh, to me, just a beautiful, sexy woman and she was so confident walking around the set it was crazy but but um so i had the dm video okay here's what happened when i showed up without my license they sent me home and i was like no problem i'll come in tomorrow dude the the 200 there were 200 200 people ahead of me and i asked the woman i go hey i mean it's not 200 people she was like what number are you and i said it she goes no that's 200 people Oh. And I was like, oh. She said, yeah. I go, how long is it going to be? Like, how long could it be? And she said, well, there's six windows. And I was like, oh, I'll see you later. They, I will say this, though. The mm. DMV people here, so much nicer than the California oh DMV. Oh, my God. People. I remember telling you about that. I'm like, yo, you know what's crazy? I walk into the Nevada DMV, and it's, you know what's weird? They Ple smile. Pleasant. Like, I've never seen one California DMV uh, worker smile nah. once. Like, Pleasant. Like, it's a pleasant experience. When I went there and had to get my registration and I had all that mixed up, remember I was there for like two and a half hours? The dude who helped me out, he was like, you're lucky. Like, it's uh, it's not super busy. So I'm able to help you between people. When was it not super busy? What time? I told you. I went right in the fucking morning. That's dude. what I'm going. Next next Wednesday, right in the morning. No, nah, but don't go on a Wednesday. Oh, because you, you had to walk in. Yeah. Come, they, op they open at eight. Come meet me at the DMV, everybody, next Wednesday. They, I hope you run into that dude who asked for my phone number. That... <laughs> Would be amazing. I hope you hear this. You heard it, man. Go see him at the DMV next Wednesday. That's super funny. I really hope he shows up and asks you for your phone number. Yeah, me too. Dude. <laughs> I really, me too. I really do, dude. I don't know what your name is, but it, if you're listening to this, it would really make my week. If Mine you, too. <laughs> if you showed up for the fucking knowing you're not going to get the phone number, listening to this, if you showed up just for the fucking bit, I would re I respect. And I, would love that. I made sure my hair was especially sideshow Bob for the picture, so mm. I make sure I'll come back and do that. Yeah. But, but your mom was like, hey, you have to dye it. I was like, I'm not dying it, and I'm keeping it crazy. And she was like, at least color it a little bit so it's not crazy Doc from Doc Brown from Back to the Future hair, which I think is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's you know, right. Yeah, she's right. One. But also, you know that thing where like you're going to the gym because you're not going to give up until mom quits? Mm -hmm. That also counts with your yep. hair. That's and, like, what I'm finding that, out. It counts with everything. That's what I'm finding out. So you can't quit any of that until she quits. Which, by the way, is going to be never. Never. So, I, I mean, that means I'm in the gym forever? I mean, it can decline as you get older because you'll start to be a little more sore as you get older. No matter what shape you're in, you're I just going to get weaker. I mean, it's hard to decline from that. You know, whoa. Did your, for did your forearm hurt after that? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm not going to lie to you. It yeah, I know it bit. does. Sometimes I just let you flex because I know the longer you flex, the more it hurts. So I just let you keep going. Yo, dude, that handshake last week, I feel like... You want to try it again? Will you go on one hand? No. I'm going to try one hand lefty. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I like I that know. you went question mark on that too. That's, that's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know because it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 um, you know, by the way, I just want to say, and then um, we can get into some of the stuff you brought in. 
Yeah, so super so, to, to 20 minutes after we started. Super proud of you. Um, this week, you know, Jacob doesn't do Monday nights here in Vegas with me. Mm-hmm. And he didn't come with me last weekend to Napa and Calusa. Brad Wallach did. But by the way, dude, great oh, shows. That's awesome. Great shows. And Brad was amazing. Um, and so probably felt rusty. Yeah. Well, I, f- I notice every time I take a week off, that first show Thursday night, I'm like, ah, okay, this is where I got to fix some things. Yeah. But I just, I was like, I know I have an opportunity to not have to do that. So I'll just get 10 minutes, get the blood flowing again, making sure I'm telling the stories the way I want to tell them, and then go into Thursday stroll. Hey, I was so proud of you, man. When when um, when you, I got that text from you, I told your mom, I'm like, he's taking this seriously. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I th- I thought I I really thought that was awesome and and um look the more you put in the more you get out the more you'll get out of it. Yes, absolutely. And so. so and by the way, the set on Monday, dude, you were like don't warm them up, just bring me on stage. Yeah. And you did really well. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm, proud I'm of st- you. I I'm st- I found something and we've talked about it cuz we've talked about it the last I just started doing it even with people who know who I am. But what I do now to open for people who don't know who I am and are only here for you or just out to see a comedy show is it works better in front of people who don't know mm-hmm. who we are or don't know who I am. A, ju- a certain story you yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I really enjoyed doing that part up front um, because even with people who know the joke or know who I am or, or know about it, still like it's still funny for people to reminisce and think about that joke again. So For sure. I'm really, fun- I'm really glad that I, uh, I thought about that. Yeah, it was a great I don't remember idea. when I started doing that. I I started doing it like uh, probably a month and a half ago or something like that. It's still really new. Yeah, I agree. But I don't remember where I started doing it. I don't either. But I remember when I did it because I just thought of it. It just happened. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. So I just stuck with it. Oh, I bought our tickets, our UK Europe tickets. Officially? I bought them. Okay, cool. We're, we're, we are, dude, that's like two weeks from, no, I, you leave two weeks from now. I leave a little later in October. But you leave. I in leave like, two weeks from now. You leave in like two and a half weeks. Holy shit! Get packing. Yeah, I leave the day before, two days before my birthday, and then we get to to Paris. Your mom and I are taking are a you, vacation. Are you in we, Paris on your birthday? Yeah. Fucking lit. That's I, awesome. We're gonna be in Paris on my birthday, dude. We've never really done any trip like this before. Do you like wine? No. Okay. Because I was gonna say, I was like, I know you don't drink, but if you did like wine, if you were gonna do something for your birthday. Paris would be the place to get like a, a nice bottle of wine for like a dinner for you and mom or something like that. Your mom doesn't drink either. She drinks champagne every now and then. Yeah, I, but I, that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like, I'm feeling like this would be the occasion. Oh, she might have some wine. Right, right. But uh, that's I was just asking because I was like, if you were gonna geez. get something somewhere, like get some wine, yo. And also, f- fuck your chicken strips. Only people will understand that. It's a vine reference. Yeah. What I mean is, fuck your diet oh, dude, when you're 100%, in France. 100%. Go to the bakeries, bro. Eat. All the bread, eat fucking chicken both. Oh my god! Like, the entire trip is gonna be a fuck your diet. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy to hear you say that. Not you, just me. Well, I can't wait. You said I have to go by your rules. Your rules are fuck your diet. My rules are fuck your no, diet. No, my rules for me are fuck your diet, and your rules are stick to the diet. And no, well, <laughs> not. Not a fucking chance. Here's like, what we do. It's not way, a single way that's going to happen. By the way, guys, uh, here's what I try to do with him. When he's with me, he's just got to be healthy. He's got to eat well and he's got to work out. He gets a cheat meal, no sodas, because we, you know, it also makes it, honestly, if he was sitting next to me late night eating a Kit Kat bar, it'd be tough for me not to eat that Kit Kat bar. Absolutely. So it's it's not only for me, I, but it's for him. I will make a deal with you. Okay. Because I can't have you drinking sodas and shit and all no, that stuff. It's so wh- bad for you. When it comes to sugar and sodas and stuff like that, I can easily not drink that. Okay. I'm good with no sodas. Okay. Here's the substitution. While we're out, while we're roaming around and we're in a different country, you got to let me try out the beer. Yeah. Okay. So I replace the soda with a beer. Less, less sugar, more carbs. Uh, S- still will go to the gym every day. Okay. I will still mind what I eat, but yep. every now and then I'll throw a couple things in there. Like, look, dude, when we're in Amsterdam, that whole day is going to be a fuck your diet. Like, that's the one day where I'm like, look, that's going to be a day I where we're... I think we get two days in, in Stockholm, I, too, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. No. I think three. I think we're, we're uh, in Oslo on the second and oh. in Stockholm on the fifth. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we'll be there the third, the fourth, perform the fifth, fly out the sixth. 
Yo, I, I'm so excited. I'm so We're, excited. Bring some hiking shit. And if it's warm enough for anything good, we should go look in the... Dude, the nature in fucking Sweden is awesome. Uh, and listen, dude. It also might be cold, though, so bring some fucking snow shit. I am gonna... If we go hiking in Sweden, I'm yodeling. That's fine. I'm in for that. Well, it's a great video. Oh, yodeling. It's a great video. Is that yodeling. the same country? Is that the country of origin? Of the yodels? Yodels? Yeah. It feels like they do Pershnikins and yodels. What did you call me? You know, Pershnikins. Isn't that what those things are called? You put on your legs? Pershnikins? That's not a Pershnikin. Pershnikin? What Why are you keep... saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep repeating a word that none of us know? I <laughs> keep... <laughs> Later hose. Later hose and later hose and not Pershnikin. What yeah. is a Pershnikin? <laughs> how would you spell that? P P E R S H N I C K E N. Yeah, how else would you spell Pershnikin? Can you type that in and see if that's a thing, please? Thank you. A Pershnikin? Isn't it something? Later hose and it sounds way closer. Le no, later ho later hose and is right because yeah. remember when I went to the Price is Right with Evan? Yes. And he dressed up as a giant beer mug and I dressed in Lederhosen yeah. and I was the fucking, we were partners. Yeah. Yeah. Lederhosen. Were you wearing any Pershnikin at the time? I got to find out if that's even a fucking word. I it, don't think it is. It feels like it isn't. No, I, I don't think it is. Pershnikin. Pershnikity? There you go. I, Pershnikity. Snickety. Not schnickety. Schnickety. You're not, you're not Sean Connery. Pers how do you know I'm not Sean Connery? Because shaken, not stood. That's Sh what. How do you know I'm not Sean Connery? It's <laughs> actually also not a bad Sean Connery. How, how do you know I'm not <laughs> Sean Connery? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. And then you did it six more times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm over it. <laughs> I'll do my Sean Connery as much as I'd like. That one wasn't terrible. That's why I keep saying it. That's why you should end on a high note instead of fucking it up more when you do it 87 times. I'll do I can do my Sean Connery in a whole. I could be Sean Connery for the rest of the podcast. Could you? I think I could. I don't think you give a straight enough face. Well, I'm, I'm Sean Connery for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Watch me. Did you have a DMV appointment today, Sean Connery? I sure did. <laughs> Sean Connery had a DMV appointment. Oh, a third person now. <laughs> did uh did sean connery have a blowout also today oh he sure did yeah yeah oh, sean connery. well that, that was crazy because that was kind of like a mix of sean connery and obama that last sure. one did you hear that a little bit he was like it sure did and i was like what yeah i almost shit myself at the gym today I'm not sure that's... It's getting less and less, Sean Connery. Yeah, you're morphing into something else. I'm not really sure what it is. I did... Here's what happened. Do you almost have a blowout today? Something's happened into my stomach. I don't know what the deal is. I'm not going to lie. Mine too. I, and here, you know why I'm frustrated? Because you work so hard and in all honesty, you spend a lot of money to buy good food to keep your stomach clean so you don't have a shitty stomach. I've and I, I, the I, fact that you do is probably frustrating. I have... I'm a true believer that your health... A lot of your health starts in your gut, how right. healthy you are in general. And if you are taking immediate shits and they're not coming out, well, you get problems with your stomach. Mm -hmm. You get problems with your stomach, you're going to have problems with your health. That's There's no ins, ifs, ands, or buts about that, right? Mm -hmm. So I worked really hard over the last year to get healthy. And I, dude, I was so healthy and regular... And, you know, like, my poops were coming out like they were on, they were at a water park. Whee! Gross. Just nice. And some of them, minimal wipe, because it was just like, like God intended, right? Is that how God intended? I think so. I don't think God intended you to wipe like you just, you had a crayon sticking out of your butthole. Or it's just constant, you know? It's a really interesting visual. And so, but this has been bad. And so at the gym, I had a dude in the stall next to me. Say to me, you okay, bud? Oh, no. That's how bad those sounds were. I had a, there is a, a complete stranger there for the, for the women, because you guys know this because you guys go into stalls together, which guys huh? don't do. Say what? You know, when women go to the bathroom together, yeah, like they're not pooping in front of each other. They don't poop, but they'll they they'll like crowd a stall and like all pee in the same stall together. But yeah, I get it, but it's not like three women are going to a stall and taking a no, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. But there is a secret code for dudes. It's an unspoken rule because it just doesn't need to be said. You don't talk to each other 
or a complete stranger for that fact in the stall next to you while you are both pooping. Never. It is just, you don't do it. Never. It is, it is not appropriate. It's not welcome. If you talk to me while I'm shitting, you cannot be mad for what I say to you after that. No, th- listen, but by the way, there should be nothing to say. Just, yeah. you know, everybody's doing their whatever. Yeah. Now, I've, I have had to ask somebody to borrow some toilet paper before. That's the only other time. <laughs> that is... Because I ran a, out of TP. That's I, a different... That's yeah. not an unspoken rule. That's like, it's like, hey, can you can you throw some over? Like, uh, th- help, help a guy out? It's so weird to stick your hand under a stall. Yeah, but you know what that reminds me of, though, and why... Like, that's why that's so sketchy to me is because sometimes there's those, like, have you seen those video, those YouTube pranks, those Instagram pranks of those people who sit in stalls and they put Nutella on their fingers and they're like, hey, I ran out of toilet paper. And then you hand them some and they nah. reach up and they touch you with the their hand so it looks like shit. Like, like I, I, I haven't seen more people get angry enough with those people. Like, they're like, yo, what the fuck? No, like, it would be go time. We'd be fighting. I'm hopping over that stall. Mm-hmm. I'm kicking open the door. Pants, sure. pants down still. And I am fucking you up. I like, will tell you, there is, there's is, actually a good chance that instead of that, I would, pr- I'm probably less of a fight guy and more of a, oh, okay, and probably just pee under the stall his way. Yeah, not, I'm really glad you went that route, not the other route. I, thought I, you were I would go. do either one. I would do either one. No, no, I thought There's you were, a chance I thought, I, that I would put, I would wipe and then lob it over the top. Oh, okay. You're getting closer to what I thought you were going to do from the first place. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what I would do, depending on how grossed out I was by the entire situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this dude says to me, are you okay, bud? He calls you bud. 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 He sunned you. And he didn't even know you. No. And by the way, I was in the handicap stall. Oof. So I had a little extra room, you know. And I didn't say anything. It, good, because good, I... Good move. Well, no, I just assumed he wasn't on the phone or not talking to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he... Knocked on the stall door? Just knocked on the wall. He was an older dude. And he goes, everything okay in there? And I was like, are you talking? Are you talking to me? And he was like, yeah. He goes, it sounds like things are oh, kind of well, well, rough. He said, do you need anything? Can I get you anything? I'm like, maybe just like some silence. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like maybe. Let a man, let a man shit in peace. Like maybe, maybe just a little courtesy where we're not pointing out how disgusting it is that it sounds. Because now you've. It's made, a, it's, you've made everyone, everyone aware. Because yeah. even the new people who have just walked in, you've yeah. made everyone aware that the dude in the handicap stall is struggling with his bowel movement. Yeah. And it's so bad that a stranger is talking to him about it. It's, yeah. There, there's some times that you just don't... Yeah, but it was an older guy who asked you, though. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. that makes sense, because older guys don't really have any fucking uh, rules in the locker room. Hence why they walk around with their dick out all the time. They definitely do. Tell me when you say older guys, just to make sure that I'm not in this category. You're not in that category. Okay. What age do you think we're talking about? I don't know. I feel like Cause you, you used to work at LA fitness. So you saw, I, I saw dudes blowing each other in the steam room. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. And the locker room. Yeah. It's not a, by the way, it's, and the it's bathroom. Good thing. Good for those guys, but bummer for everybody. Else. Yeah. So cool. You're getting fucking, that's awesome. In the most unclean spot in the Valley. Yeah. You sick fuck. I'm out of, I'm out of pass. Um, I'm also, you know, I've... I've, Flaccid pass. It's a flaccid pass. Flaccid pass. I'll tell you something. I also am a guy that was never... Any kind of public sex was never... I know for some people that was like a turn on or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like... I think for people who I know at least, it's like an adrenaline thing. Yeah. It's the... It's the... the, And I quote, thought of getting caught. Yeah, that actually... Freaks me out. Yeah, that actually lessens the excitement. I think that evolved more as I got older, though. Like, as a kid, you were like, yeah, I'll get it where I can get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but dude, you're talking about fear making you hard. And that is counterintuitive to where I'm at. I'm not scared of getting caught. It's uh, They're they're not saying I'm scared of getting caught. It's the thought of getting caught. It's Uh, It's the rush of adrenaline of somebody possibly seeing you. Not getting caught by the cops or caught by someone. It's just, nah. it's it's just like I guess it's the rush by that thought of I, being I, seen. I remember in college, outside of this party, me and this girl were laying down on the ground, and um, she was like, "It's hot," and I was like, "That is hot." She goes, "No, my ass is hot." She got up. And I had put her down on a fire ant and her, her booty hole and her vajayjay, the whole area just got swarmed. 
swarmed. And it was an uncomfortable couple of days for her. Real bad. Real bad. Because they that'll leave a mark. Uh, and uh, that sounds... A leave a mark is an understatement. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like... like leave. And I don't know if leave a mark is the right thing to say after nah. that. Nah. That's like PTSD. Dude, it was a it was a rough situation for her. Yeah, yeah. I felt really bad, but also a, grateful that. No, did you get a second date? Uh, I was going out with her. To, to, was there another date? After oh yeah, that was yeah, my yeah, question? yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another date okay, to okay. the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there yeah, was probably for like, a little cream uh, and solve a couple of those appointments. Uh, by the way, that's a word I hate. Solve, solve, solve. You you just said solve. What's solve? What's it? Is it solve? Solve. Salve? Yeah, it's like a... I don't like it. It's like a... It's, What's that sound? A little salve? The salve sound? No, the sound you made with your mouth. Uh, I don't like the word salve. Salve. It just salve. brings to... That's weird. Salve. It, that doesn't bother me. That bothers me. <laughs> Tell me what you All got. All right. Um, okay, so we already talked about you almost shitting yourself. No, wait, did we? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, but that wasn't almost shitting yourself. It was... Yeah. In this stall, yeah. Okay. Um, so I went to Life is Beautiful this past weekend. That's why I was not in Calusa or Napa uh, with you, for those of you who were wondering. Uh, my girlfriend and I went to a music festival called Life is Beautiful here in Las Vegas this past weekend. Um, it was honestly... It was my first time going to a music festival as what I would consider like a local because Coachella, yeah, kind of a local, but it's also two and a half hours out. And I camped, so I didn't have, like, a bed to go back to sleep in every night. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We slept in a tent every night. I get to go home and sleep in my bed every single night. For That's this awesome. Though, right? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? It was so good. And we only went when the sun was down. So the first two nights, because there wasn't that many people we wanted to see. It's not, like, a super packed festival. There's a lot of room. And there were still some big names, and it attracted most of everybody there. On Kendrick, the Killers. That's big names. Kendrick, the Killers, Odessa, Emo Night. Kim Petrus, um, Baby Tron was there. I didn't go see him. Right um, after you said the first two, I don't know any of those. Yeah, people. yeah, yeah. All those other people are like new age. Um, but the first two nights, we didn't want to see more than two people. So we showed up at 8 30 when the sun was already down. It was the perfect temperature. I was in a I was in a t-shirt and shorts all night. And it That's was awesome. Fucking great. Like we bought a whole bunch of merch the last night. Um but, you know, we went and saw a bunch of people we wanted to see. I've seen Kendrick like four times, though, all at festivals, really. Yeah. Um, and that, well, no, I, the first time I ever saw him was in 2012. Do you remember that ticket you got me to that mm -hmm, show? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It was Cali It was Cali Christmas at um, the Ford Amphitheater at Universal Studios yep. in L.A. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the Ford Amphitheater is no longer there. It closed down. Like, it was a cool venue, though. Such a cool venue. It closed down like either a year or two after that. Like it shut down fast. I don't remember what happened, but do you know why that closed down? No, no, I don't. It was don't. just kind of, it was really kind of out of the blue. Yeah. Like when House of Blues got bought by that hotel on Sunset too, and we lost House of Blues. Just, but that hotel is so much better. It's, oh, I'm so glad it's there. It's a nice hotel, but I, I, I saw I saw some good shows at that house. Me of too, Blue. dude. I saw some, I Me saw, too. I saw Wiz Khalifa there. And the highlight of that night is my buddy, and I'm I'm going to clip this, and or maybe we won't, but a buddy of mine named Evan, who's one of my best friends from ever, he uh, he was not a huge smoker at the time. Yeah. And if you're at a Wiz Khalifa concert, you know, at the House of Blues, you know how small tight that venue is. Yeah. That that shit was blown out. Yeah. Security at one point was like, "Hey, I know we let you guys smoke in here before, but it's so smoky in here; it's now a hazard. We'll let you guys smoke out on the patio." And I was like. Okay, cool. Like that's that's fine, but Ev had to sit out the last thirty five minutes outside on the curb. Freaking out? He wasn't freaking out. He just he needed oxygen. Like oh, there yeah, was yeah. not enough oxygen in the house. He's of Blues. a big dude too. But it was you know who the other person was with me sitting through just puffing away in that concert, Jackson Odell. <sighs> so Jack and I were just sitting in there listening to Wiz Khalifa, just blowing through like a a like what's ten joints. What's like your that. favorite? show you've ever been to. Oh. And, and by the way... Favorite but, show but, or favorite I, set? Let me just say. Okay. And by the way, it doesn't have to be the best music, but it might have been that night because you were with Jack. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what's your favorite concert experience? If I got to be honest, well, Wiz is up there because it was just fun. Like Jack and I were just 
were hanging out. It was a fun night. We walked outside, and when, when it was time to leave to go get Evan, Evan was sitting there just chatting it up with three women. They were just circling him, and he was just sitting there talking, and he was sitting, and then when we came out, he stood up, and they were like, oh, you're tall. And I was like, have you been sitting this entire time? <laughs> are you crazy? You're 6'3". Stand up. Women like it. Like, Wait, why, why is are he you only 6'3"? Well, he's probably 6'4", but you know yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you're, dude, I was like, you're tall. And a big dude. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. I was like, I don't care if you can't stand. <laughs> yeah. lean, lean on something, but stand the fuck up. Yeah. Like, you can't not show that you're six four. Like, that's a strapping young man. Yeah, man, absolutely. Um, I don't know, man. For me, like, I've been to. If I can think about it, I truly probably have been to about as many festivals. Like, I've seen yeah. more yeah, sets at festivals yeah. than I have individual concerts. But I would count that. If so, you could say set. That's also true. <sighs> That fucking Jack White set from 2015 Coachella. He was a 9.15 p.m. set on the main stage. I remember that day. It was... Oh, my God. I didn't move from the Coachella main stage. So at Coachella, for those of you who don't know also, they have different stages placed out. And it's on the Indio Polo grounds. It's like... I couldn't even tell you how many acres because they have like merch booths and regular booths. They have food. They have a Ferris wheel. They have fucking rides. They have mm -hmm. the campgrounds that are also on the polo grounds. They had that at Ocella too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's the same. It did the same setup yeah, probably. Yeah, same yeah. for Stagecoach. It's yeah. probably the same thing just with different spots. I'm definitely going to Stagecoach this year uh, in 2024. I don't blame you. Um, but so uh, I was just like that, that, that set. I remember that day I saw uh, a guy named Milky Chance. It was a group. Um, his that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> He had like he had like two or three songs I knew, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go see him." But he was sick that day, so he barely had his voice. So he did like kind of half of his set without singing, and more just did a sing along with the crowd and played his guitar. After that, Hozier showed up, and mm. I was like, "And this was the year that album came out." The year that album came out. Yeah. So it's like "Take Me to Church," "Foreigners," "God," um, fucking that album is. So Isn't it so good? crazy how somebody like? Could put out an album like that and vanish. What happens? He put he's put out a little more music. Yeah, but how do you put out ten bangers? Ten <sighs> like legit, no bad songs no, in that album. No, top to bottom, that album is really good. And then vanish. Whiff? It's like it's like the Avatar when the world needed him most. He just vanished. But how? I don't know how you do it. How? I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Top of the world to off the map, dude. It's crazy. So insane. And his music was. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And so I heard him. So I, I went Milky Chance, Hozier. And I'm pretty sure right after that was Jack White. Uh, there might have been somebody else in between that I can't. Oh, there was somebody else in between. So it went, it went Milky Chance, Hozier, Alt J. Ooh, you love Alt J. <sighs> I've seen Alt J sets two or three times. Yeah. That set every time is tough. What kind of live show is that? Lights. Lights and beats and drums and they're like, can I, can I play something? No. no, damn. But like their their sets are very just like intense isn't the right word, but like very visual. Yeah, very visual and their music is really good and really interesting. So I love that set. After Alt J was Jack White, and Jack White did White Stripe stuff. He did, dude. You know he's one of my all time favorites. Because I'm gonna tell you something. I don't blame you. There are very few people, and I, I honestly, and this might be biased because I, and I'm going to put Zach, the Zach Brown band in here. I, Zach, they, when they put a song on an album, there's no bad song. There's no bad songs. No, no, no. no. That dude doesn't write bad songs. No. The, he, he just doesn't. No. I, there may not all be like crazy bangers. Yeah. But I or like your cup of tea, but no. they're all good songs. I would say this, dude, if you like Zach Brown, you're going to like everything he puts on his albums. 100%. And except, except for that album that had like Chris Cornell on it, and and uh, right, 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 where he did a little bit from every genre. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also, dude, he did a little bit from every genre, and also, although you know, he had a number one rock hit, a number one country hit, a number one easy listening hit, all and a number one crooner, all on the same album. It's fucking insane. Yeah, dude. So him, but Jack White to me also. Yeah. Anytime I put on any of his music, I'm like, oh, this is a great fucking song. Yeah, yeah. So he, so I went Jack White, and then to close the night out, the weekend came out in 2015. And Whoa, this is, dude. This is this is prime weekend. That's a fucking great day. So I didn't move, but I just moved up. Did you have a good spot? Yeah, but like when the weekend showed up, 
So how did you drink water or eat food or camel pack? And I didn't That's eat. Right. I didn't eat food. I didn't move. You think I'm going to move and lose my spot? Here's the thing. Everybody that I, there was a couple of people I missed out on, but it was like nothing took priority over what was here. Because also look for the weekend. How did you pee? Do people pee just on the ground in front of them without, it depends on how crowded it is. I've seen it before. Yeah, because I think that's what I would do. I would. But no, no, no. I think I think what I would happened. Cheer. I think what and happened. And then have my hand down here. And, and I think pick. what happened was I was like, yo, at a certain time, I think it was this. I think after Hozier set, the sun was going down because he was around six or seven. So I was because I, I was with Jake, I was with Riley, and I'm pretty sure we met up with some other people, mm -hmm. and also the people we were camping next to, we met up with. So we had a designated spot, and so after a set, I was like, hey, a bunch of people are going to leave. They're going to wait. People here are going to wait for who's coming next. I am going to go pee, possibly get food, depending on the lines, fill up my camel pack, and I'll be back. And so we'd always have people in a spot, and we would kind of just trade out in between sets. Mm. But during a set, if you had to leave, we saw you back at the campsite. Like, the first night in 2015, when my, my senior year, when it was just me, Riley, and Jake out there, I was alone that whole first day. Why? I chose to be. I, I, Jake, me, Jake, and Riley ended up at the Sahara tent. The Sahara tent is all EDM and just like fucking headbangers yeah. and fun shit. I remember walking up to it and I was like, yo, this is pretty fun. And I was staying to watch somebody and both Jake and Riley were like, hey, we want to go see somebody else. I was like, cool. I'm going to vibe here. And I think I also met up with somebody. So I was kind of with another group. So I was fine. And so I start just hanging out here at the Sahara tent. And then I see some seniors from Notre Dame who had graduated above me, I saw them in a group and one of them had waved me over. By the time I made my way over there, they were gone. So like legit, one of them had just waved me over, told everybody I was coming and they all just went and I never saw them again for the rest of the week. And I was like, what the fuck, man? But by making my way over there, because I was like, oh, some now freshmen in college yeah. want to hang out. I'm in for that. Yeah. Like, break, like I'm at the campsite. If they're not camping, they come hang out. We can drink, do whatever. Like it was easy. Yeah. By the time I got there, they were gone. And I was like, dang. I was like, God damn it. By like, the way, it's still the same shit. Is, <laughs> well, maybe it did it just some of the, you know. It also might have been bad time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I could have read it wrong, because not gonna lie, it was it was one of the it was one of like the most popular girls in school. And we had like talked a little bit and like had like a cordial I'm not going to even say relationship. It yeah. was like, not even. I think it was like the base of an acquaintance. Like we talked, if we saw each other outside of school. We'd say, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. But there was never any like, right. what are you doing this weekend? Or let's hang out. Was or it the Bieber like girl? Correct. It yeah. was the Bieber girl. Yeah. And she was the one who I thought waved me over. Yeah. Maybe that was just like in your brain. Yeah. <laughs> Have been one of those. She might have been scratching her head, and you're like, "No, oh, me? no, oh, me? Oh, 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 because I, I think it was a wave, but I saw it as a this. Mm. But I think it might have just been might like have a, been one of this. Might yeah, have been it might have been. It might have been fuck off. Yeah, stay yeah, over yeah, there. Keep your distance. Yeah. Kind of shit. You saw this. Yeah, yeah, but she yeah, meant yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw my. I saw my. I was like, "Yo, this is my high school moment. Right, fucking here. Right, fucking now. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna hang out with these college kids for the rest of the weekend. Never saw them again. Can I? So, <laughs> so but Can so I, I ended up being at that EDM stage for eight and a half hours. Oh my god! I dude. didn't leave. And then an artist I knew was coming up around nine p.m. and his name is DJ Snake. Also my nickname in high school. And I, I love his stuff. He's got a lot of big hits. He's just party music. I was 20 feet from him. And like, like you know when you're close enough to a stage to when fire goes off on the stage, you can feel it? Yeah. That's how close I am. And so, I, like, like, so fucking close. I ended up seeing DJ Snake again even closer in like 2017. Crazy. When Migos had their huge blow up. And they came out on stage with, like Migos came out on stage to give DJ Snake a break. And they performed Bad and Bougie. Couldn't and fire, fire, name fire, 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 fire. one Migos song. No. Besides Bad and Bougie. Because I just you said just it. said it. But I, yeah, I couldn't name one Migos song. Uh, I know you could. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you... when you Can I tell you the truth? Hmm. When you first started talking about Migos, I thought you were... I was talking about the movie Three Amigos? No, I thought you were talking about that thing that goes with eggs. Migos and eggs. What's Migos? I think it's Migas. M I G A S, Matt. Migas and eggs. Eggs and migas. Migas <laughs> eggs. <laughs> eggs and migas makes me laugh. I don't know why. Eggs and migas. Isn't migas and eggs a thing? Yeah, I thought so. 
So I thought I, that's what I thought we were talking about. It is amigos, uh, amigos and eggs. Is it like a chili quiles kind of? I think style it's a thing? sausagey kind of thing, isn't it? Migas, isn't it? Migas sausage. Stop saying migas, goddammit. <laughs> migas sausage, sausage. <laughs> migas is a dish traditionally made from stale bread and other ingredients in Spanish and Portuguese cuisine. I got to tell you, the stale bread pitch is a pass for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say. I was going to say. I was like, that seems like not a good <laughs> selling point. Like, like, stale, like why are you going to put stale like, in here's the, the description? Thing, like, do you, you, did you know that in order to make proper fried rice, or at least what most uh, consider? You got to use a little urine. No. What? I don't know where no? you're, you're getting your cooking information. No, you have to use day-old rice. You're not supposed to use fresh rice. Right, right. You're supposed to use day-old like rice. No urine. No. no. Definitely not. I don't know how that would cook. I, Do you I, think it has a boiling point? Like I think it burns off. Oh, you think it evaporates? I bet you if I poured urine on my steak tonight, that it would burn off and I would never taste it. Do it. I'm a- <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Fucking do yeah, it. I'll do it on your mom's steak and we'll just see if she knows. Do you? I never do it. Are you <laughs> kidding me? That is <coughs> I'm gonna have to watch my steak next time I come over. I'm not I'm not pouring urine. I'm not maybe. Actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's you know what, what I figured. Here's the problem though. I think it'd evaporate, but I think it would still smell, and I think that smell would it stick would in the It would definitely house. taste like piss. Mm. There's not a chance in hell. That you are thinking clearly right now. Why, sometimes you put Mr. Wine, Migas, okay? Sometimes like, when you put wine in there, you don't taste the wine, it burns off. It's well, if you, when you, it's supposed to be like a reduction. Like you're, it's not supposed to taste like alcohol. Sometimes it burns off. What has no, a more it, it burns what, off a little bit, but it's supposed to add a, <sighs> Yeah, but if I'm using clear pea, clear pea, I bet you tastes has less of a strong taste than wine. Taste it. Do it. I think wine tastes like pea anyways. That's kind of valid. What do you know about pee tasting like? Don't worry about it. Oh, I, I probably <laughs> peed in your mouth as a kid. <laughs> what? Well, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I did get your pee in my mouth one time. Uh, yeah, as a kid. yeah, yeah, that yeah. Kind of gross. I didn't want to think the other right, but since you said don't worry about it, I, I'm gonna worry. Yeah, about I, it. I, listen, are you googling what does pee taste like? No, dummy. I'm cooking. I'm looking at what is the point of cooking with alcohol? Like, what's it supposed to do? Like. Well, I think it can it acts as a flavor enhancer. That's what it is. So you're yeah. not supposed to actually taste the alcohol. It's supposed to enhance the flavor of what you're adding the alcohol to. And how do you know that urine isn't going to enhance the taste? I will give you how much? A thousand dollars. Keep going. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you. Yep. I guess do a reduction with piss. Deal. And you t- and and it doesn't taste like piss. Well, I'm just going to tell you it doesn't. No, that's not how that Are works. Are you going to taste it? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, but I'll be able to like I'll this. be able to tell by the what by the meat covered in piss that you put in your mouth. It doesn't sound like we're talking about steak anymore. But I'll be able to tell by that bite of steak whether you taste it or not. I need to There is not and also you can't like try and over season it or anything like no. that. Like it's got to be you got to baste it in the piss. By the way though, I'm not going with heavy vitamin P. I'm just going with my regular morning P. You got to baste it in the piss. You got to really get that piss flavor in there. All right. I'll cook it for you. I need, don't, <laughs> I need, I need, we, I know we have a cook or a chef who listens to the show. What do we think about this? A thousand dollars seems like something that I would do it for. Yeah. But do you need a thousand dollars right now? Or you just want to no. do it to prove a point. Yeah. They'll just do it to prove a point. No, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the money though. I'll do something stupid. If you prove the point, how about that instead? Or we take the thousand dollars, we put it in a slot machine, and we see what happens. Yeah, but we could just do that anyways. That, yeah. That's but like I don't need to bet you for that. I can just go do that right now. No, I don't want you to do that. I'd rather have you lose your money to me. Yeah, and then but then what, I'm losing it in the slot machine. No, no, no. I'm gambling it. You don't get any of the money. So I just sit there. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> the fuck is that deal? I lose my money twice? <laughs> Fuck no. And you only lose it once. No, I mean, and then, then I, I win. No, and then you lose it. So I get to watch my money disappear twice. You know, one can, to you and then one into the void because I'm fucking never seeing that shit again. Can I tell you, man, without a doubt, my favorite. Ooh, I can't say without a doubt. Wait, favorite what? My favorite music set that I've ever seen. Oh, 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 yeah. We were talking about that. I, I don't know what mine would be. Like that Jack White set for sure is up there. Uh, I've seen. I saw J. Cole in his off-season tour, and that one for me is just like, I just love J. Cole. Yeah. So for me, that was just a big one. I've seen Kendrick like four times. I, I think for me, it has to be just because of who I was with 
and what his music has meant to me over my life. I just think seeing McCartney with my brothers. Yeah, absolutely. Has has to be it. Yeah. I don't blame you. Um, I'm trying to think because oh, bro, I've seen so, you have seen a lot of shows. It's hard for me to think because yeah. I, I have to go through. I was talking about it with with Iman this weekend at, at at Life is Beautiful. This is my fourth different festival that I've ever been to. Yeah. And I've been to like seven or eight total. Yeah. I've been to four Coachellas, one Austin City Limit. Um I, I Life is you, Beautiful once. That Austin City Limit when you were at LSU. Correct. Yeah. And I drove up with my roommate and yeah. I met Jackson there with that's his right. with his girlfriend. That's right, that's right. So we saw some good sets there. I saw, but that was also 2015. That was the same year that I went and saw that my first Coachella. Right. So I saw a lot of the same people at ACL. Because what festivals do is they book the same people. Right. And then so like there was somebody had a shirt there um that said so and so's festival tour. And so it's just like they're doing a bunch of festivals for the rest of the year, and then that's what they're doing instead of like putting out an album or going on tour or shit like that. Um so that same year, I saw The weekend twice in a matter of months because The weekend was also at ACL. Mm -hmm. And I was so much closer for him than I was at Coachella. Holy shit. I saw Hozier twice. How's he live? Pretty good. Yeah, I, He was better a couple years ago. Um, we saw him at our most recent Coachella. What, what was that? Last year? Yeah. Was that last year? Maybe. Holy shit. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. So we saw him last year and um, he, he was all right. I think it's so cool, dude. I wish I had all these festivals when I was growing up. But that yeah. was not how it was going down. Yeah. But it's so cool that you got to experience that and that, you know, you got to do it in high school and you got to feel a little independence and set up your own campground. Yeah. And I, 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 I was really happy for you that you got to do all that stuff. It was a whole bunch of fun. And then obviously the very, the, the, the one that I didn't mention that I went to was Astro. Yeah. Um. So I, I checked a good amount off my list. I would a hundred percent do life is beautiful again. It was right, dude. It was right in downtown Vegas. Dude, it was we'll, off of Fremont street. We'll be, it here was next, awesome. we'll be here. By the way, you know, next week I'm going to see Gaga. Oh, is that next week? Yeah. How excited are you? Fucking super psyched. I bet you getting all dressed up. Yeah, dude. You got those glasses ready. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah. I can't, I, I can't wait to see what those look like. Oh, I, I'm, I think I'm going to wear my gold fur coat with my gold shoes. We got to get you a good hat. It can't be just a regular hat. No, we, it won't be. A we got to go get you a good hat. Where should we go? That Gorgon's? Yeah. Is it called Gorgon? Go, go, Gorin Bros? Gordon? Some, go, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll well, go. we love their hats. Their hats are fucking awesome. Maybe we'll go down there and get some. But yeah, we go look at their stuff. Um, but you have to give me the whole outfit before I can decide on what we're going to do. Like, what are you wearing under the gold for coat? Nothing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you, you know what you should wear? Huh? You know what we should get you? Huh? A white turtleneck. No, dude. It's, yeah. First of all, it's past September 1st. No white. We had a black turtleneck. What are we talking about? Why am I wearing a turtleneck? Because those Gucci... Ooh, what, am I a supervillain? With those glasses, you might as well be. Have you seen those glasses? I bought them, dude. Right. Yeah. What did I say when you bought them? You're like the third Wright brother with those glasses. Like, you look like you yeah, should be a pilot. But that's not a supervillain. If I'm wearing a turtleneck, I feel like I should be petting a but hairless you, cat. But you don't have to be like a pilot. You could be like, like one of like... Like an F, like a fighter pilot. So those are like the, you know, those guys are really fucking cool, right? So you come on, you got the like a turtleneck and that that fucking gold jack, the gold fur coat. You got those glasses on. We get you a nice, you know, hat to match with it. Yeah. What shoes are you wearing? That's the real question. I have these gold heels. Stop. Legit. What do you mean gold heels? Divine gold. Hold on. Divine heel. I warm at uh, on an episode of Tussle. They're like not heels, but heels. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, there, yeah. So or pants. Uh something tight. Tight. Oh, yeah. You I, I I'm trying to think. I might go my leopard skin pants. What? Leopard skin pants. Oh, you don't know everything in the closet, bro. Leopard skin but you can't go you can't go gold le with no. leopard skin pants? Uh, no, you that doesn't match. You can't do that. It's gold and gold. What doesn't match? What now, do you mean it's gold and gold? It's like cheetah. That's what I mean by leopard. That's not gold. Are you... Cheetah's not gold? No. What is it? It's brown. It's like a light brown and black. Cheetah's gold, dude. That's not brown. That's goldy. That's goldish. It's light brown, but it's gold. It could be gold. Is I, it tan? I can, I can tell you're already second guessing that it's gold because you know I'm right because you keep going closer and closer to light brown and staying further away from gold. I think it could be gold though. Right, Matt? Gold? Orange. Orange? 
It's not or orange and black is a cheetah. It's like fucking gold to you. Yeah, that that is goldish. It matches a gold coat. No, it doesn't. It sure as fuck does. It sure as the fuck doesn't. I don't, I don't know what planet you're living on. We'll see the planet where the leopard pants match with the gold for a coat. That's the planet I'm on. Not Earth. I, dude, I'm not going to be dressed like I'm on Earth, especially with the amount of mushrooms I'm going to I was going to say, you're not going to be on Earth, period. I'm like floating above that concert. <laughs> looking down on it. Hey, everybody. You need a DD for the night? Uh, mom, you guys are going to Uber. Your mom doesn't take mushrooms. Right, but is she going to want to drive? Nah, not so, with me in the passenger seat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've driven with you on mushrooms in the passenger seat. It's pretty funny, though. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty amusing. Um, because, is, is it time for us to go? Oh. 303, I like that band. Um, I didn't even, we didn't even talk about, okay, oh, real quick, real quick. So while we were at the festival, okay, I we started seeing, like, you know, when you go to a festival, there's certain types of festival goers, right? Yeah. There's certain different categories. And I wrote a couple of them down that make me laugh because I saw a whole bunch of them this okay. weekend. So the first one I got is the holders. And they're the couples that you turn around and you know they're rolling on Molly so mm -hmm. hard mm -hmm. because they're just sitting there mm -hmm. fucking slow dancing to just like, the most hype shit ever, but they're just sitting there holding each other. Jaws like this? No, or, or they're just mad. Their eyes are closed and they're just swaying. You know what I'm saying? So the holders really make me laugh because I'm also like, that's most of the time the holders are kids. Like they're like yeah. 18, 19 year olds. I'm like, ugh, that's going to wear off soon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that, you're not going to come back to that. But that, I love that. It makes me laugh. And those kids are always having like the best fucking time at those music festivals. Um, another one is the middle aged white couple or group of white friends that yeah. go to the festival and think they can still hang and they get super fucked up and they're just like thrashing around and running around and dancing in circles like you know those just like really drunk 40 to 50 year old white dude, people the who old, just old, lose their minds the old uh, older white dudes dancing is always uncomfortable especially shirtless super who haven't put on sunscreen and they're super tomato there was, red there was one woman who was there were in a group of friends and this one woman just like she took her cigarette, walked through them, went around, and then just started walking in circles around them. And I was like, the fuck is going on over there? Like, this is like a cult. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, and so that one makes you laugh. This one is, you're going to see it everywhere. The custom jersey bros. Yeah. So like, obviously like a lot of- Custom get, jersey at the festival? Well, here's the thing. I can tell how old you are by what you're wearing at a festival. Okay. If you are a- if you're generally, it's generally white dudes, but it's it's people wear jerseys to festivals. Yeah, but team jerseys. Yeah, it's a huge thing to wear to wear jerseys to show off like your your good jerseys at festivals. That's why. Remember, I brought like my poppy jersey one year. I wore that Celtics jersey one really? year. Really? It's what you do, but it's what you do when you're a when you're a dude from 16 to 22. Mm -hmm. So that last couple of years of high school, all the way through college, okay. yeah. you're wearing the jersey, yeah. but. It goes up that extra level when you're maybe like that fifth year or sixth year senior, or you're just one of those extra frat bros where you have custom jerseys. Mm -hmm. So there's one dude I saw this weekend in a Miami Heat jersey, that super colorful like Miami version one. And it said on the back, double zero, daddy. And I was mm -hmm. like, I was like, there is a reason why you're standing alone at this Kendrick concert. Mm -hmm. there, yeah. uh, like that. So you there's, know, like, there's always those guys or there's like a... Uh, or it's like the number is 69 and it's like, like yeah, banger, yeah, right? It's hilarious. like, oh, 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 like, it's like, you guys are fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, my thing on the custom. Well, that's why for me, it's usually, it's usually college kids. Yeah, that, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, usually yeah. the demographic who wears it. I'm not a college kid anymore, but I still wear jerseys, but I wear like, I'm wearing more like footy jerseys yeah. than I do like I'm football or basketball yeah. jerseys. Also, sometimes I wear like custom jerseys, like I have the Travis one or is stuff there, like that. But is there like somebody at these festivals, like is that that who is by themselves, super fucked up, just doing just dancing? Like yeah, there's also you also have the if you're in a group, you always in the group have a, somebody we call the runner. So you have someone who calls the runner. My runner in my group is Riley. Riley, when he gets when he does what he wants to do, he wanders. And yeah. so he runs. And so he'll be with me one second. I'll turn around and he's 47,000 feet that way. And I'm like, hey, how did you get over there that yeah. fast? Yeah, like, yeah. they're just, they're like, oh, it's it's like my ADHD. I have the attention span of a squirrel. It's like shiny and I'm, I'm gone. So Riley's our runner. And so Riley likes to wander. Okay. So there's always those people too. Like when we were walking in the first night, there was just one dude wandering through the festival, just like going back and forth and like keeping himself up. 
or like he was walking this way, but his body was leaning one way and he's like trying to fight gravity to keep himself up, which I love. But I remember we started walking and Iman was like, we should go. And I go, no, no, I can't walk away because if he falls and I miss it, I'll never forgive yeah, myself. Really mad. He did. He actually made it to a tree, leaned on that and then almost fell off that and then moved somewhere else. And I was like, ah, okay, well, some of my favorite videos on the internet outside of on July 5th, watching people blow up their fingers with firecrackers and their butt is watching really just out there, hammered, yeah. drugged out people at festivals. The last one I want to say before we have to get out of here, because we do, was, and this has happened to my girlfriend before, is when you we were standing next to a, a group of people and she had her camera out and she was filming. Or so she thought she was. So for two and a half minutes straight, this girl and her friends, like she was like filming her friends and they were vibing to the camera and like they were having such a good time. I was like, oh, core memory created. She was so high, she never clicked record. I love that. So she was just sitting there like this and then at the end, she clicked it and then, then clicked it again and gave it back to her friend because I think she realized she was never recording. So they just kind of banged out, had a moment and then that was it. it was, that might even be a better memory than the, the that, video. That happened to Iman when we were at Tame Impala. Also, another great show at the Hollywood Bowl, yeah. Tame Impala. We were both super high for that. But she was so high, we sat there. She sat there for four and a half minutes filming a song. And then after the song ended, she looked at me and just started laughing. I go, what's wrong? She goes, I didn't hit record. That's awesome. So she was just sitting there like this, thinking she was recording and just had, didn't have That's the awesome. video whatsoever. It made me laugh. Um, Tell yeah. everybody where we're at this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Omaha, Nebraska. It's my first time in Nebraska. I get to check another state off the list. I'm That's awesome. Super excited about that. Um, so come out and see us. Where are we playing in Omaha? Uh, the Omaha Funny Bone. Funny Bone. So tickets are, I can only imagine, very few left for every show. Don't forget, Friday night, he's on Mushrooms uh, for the Late Show. And also Saturday night, Late Show, he gives away his guitar. Um, so come out and come see us. Maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do a dance off this weekend. Yeah, and maybe. See what, uh, see no, it's a small stage. Small stage? Small stage. Sorry, Omaha. No, 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 no dance off. Uh, but maybe we'll figure out something else fun to do. Um, we're in Omaha this weekend. The next weekend, I will not be there, but he is in Fort Worth, Texas. The fourth, fifth, and sixth. Fifth, fifth sixth, and seventh? Yeah, or sixth, seventh, eighth. It's that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the it's, week after. It's six. It's, it's fifth, sixth, seventh, because I'm going to a Lantern Festival on the sixth. It's a Friday. Yeah, and and um, Jacob's older brother, uh, Trevor, Trevor is, is going to be... I know what his name is. And he just hesitated. I hesitate all the time when I talk. So have you not noticed that? No, I have. I just You don't usually hesitate when it comes to your kids' names. Um, our, but Trevor's going to be there, um, and he's going to be hopping on stage instead of Jakey. So yeah. it'll be a good time. It'll be, it'll be really fun. The week after that, we are in San Jose, I believe, for a Friday, Saturday only, if I'm correct. Friday, Saturday only, and then we're off to Europe. Yep. And then after that, UK, Europe. We can't wait to see you guys. We're so excited. Starts October 24th in Belfast. Uh, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets to let you know where we are and what cities. Uh, it's going to be rapid fire, ladies and gentlemen. It, we can't wait to come out there, but uh, yeah, we're so excited to have a good time. I can't wait to see some buddies, uh, drink some beer, eat some sausage rolls while I'm in London. Oh, and, and old Lee, yeah, Lee Syatt is in Omaha with us this weekend. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm pretty excited. I am. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, come see us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, like I said, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Yes. And next week, we, Matt, need to talk about filming double episodes for the Europe stuff. Because you're gone a week before I am. Yeah. Also. Yep. And so next week, guys, uh, we're going to be doing, um, maybe we'll send in some emails. Yeah. Because oh, that, yes. that's actually a good evergreen. So send in some emails at heymanpod, heyman, three A's, pod, exclamation point? No, there's never an exclamation point and you always say, heymanpod at gmail.com, heymanpod at gmail.com. Send in your emails. Ask us anything. We will answer them for you. I want to just thank all the new listeners. Hey, man, the numbers are going up, up, up. I'm um, just reading all the comments on the YouTube page. Uh, you guys, too kind, too kind. Um, obviously, people are enjoying the show. We love doing it. Spread the word. We're going to start having people on the pod. I think we should. And we're going to start going on other people's pods to... to um, to help spread the word, but um, word of mouth always good. So, and rate and review on iTunes if you can. We always appreciate that. Um, I'll do the handles one more time. Uh, comedianjoshwolf.com again. 
for all those 20 some tickets because everybody always asks where we are and when we are. That'll tell you. After the UK and Europe, we're back in the States from November to the end of December. Um, and then I have no idea what dates are after that, but new year, new dates, they will always be coming. Check us out. Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Hey, go do something nice for someone today. Tell them you love them. We love you guys. Be safe. All right. Later. Talk to you.